hello guys today i'll be showing you how to get your html template from mailchimp because people are asking me how they can get or design their own html templates for gmail which is one of the tutorials i did but i didn't show you guys how to get the html template or probably use some system to edit it yourself so now today i'm going to quickly show you my little trick that I use to get these templates and then use it to campaign for my campaign and all other things so now we're going to go to a template here you have to first of all open mailship.com when you open mailship.com from there if you are not registered with them you have to have an account so you register for the mailship account but if you already have an account just log into your account just like I did here so you go to your template click on your template so you wait for it to load then from the template area then you say create template if this is the first time you are coming to create a template you might see create template or probably want to edit the previous templates you have created before then you can come here and then click edit here for now I'm going for this course of the story I'm going to show you how to create a new template so here we're going to create a new template here so wait for it to load very now you have varieties of changes to choose from here we have layouts whereby you did want to build these things from scratch and we have some pre template teams that have been designed by Mailchimp all you need to do is just replace pictures and add your own pictures, add your own links and all that but this is just the template if you really want to develop your own from scratch you can use one of these templates and they have already made templates which if you like you can choose from as well so and they have they are they've categorized them under different niche like the, a newsletter like a uh, sales letter something like a flyer and all other type of email now i'm going to select a layout now this is where we are going to be dragging and dropping some useful aspects of this email template email building template so here you can add your logo when you click on this you can see that you can replace this dummy logo and put your own let me see some of the files that I have here for example I want to make this my logo I can insert it and then scroll down again If you notice that two captions one and two so I placed one here and second caption is here so we have to replace that as well with another image that we have so I'm going to use this I'm going to do this yeah let me insert it here so now you can if you have a problem like this it's too long you can make adjustments here by editing it and then resizing the images so you can write the content here i don't need to go into the building what i need to do is just show you how to build if you walk around here play around you'll be able to get the loss from there but my point is just to show you how to get the template out of mailchimp and then edit it with a software i'm going to introduce to you then post and uh, try to insert it in gmail i think if you don't know how to do that already there's a link there's one of the videos on my channel where I created that I showed you how to do that try and scroll and check so let's just say this by like this then um, save and exit so you have to give it a name let me give it tutorial and resolve so now let's save it 
to take us back to our page here so from there from here we are going to export as html so export to give you one in the you cannot import it back to mailchimp to edit you know, using the drag and drop blocks but not to worry since you have designed your templates to your you know, your maximum satisfaction then you can just export the template so this is the template that we just created just now so I have this software that I said I'm going to introduce to you it's called Composer so this Composer is what you're going to use for the template editing you open here click here then locate the file to my desktop so note that all the images have been hosted on uh, Gmail on MailChimp rather so you don't have any problem looking for where to host your pictures so now from here you can see we have the normal tab this is the normal tab the preview tab is here this is how the image the final look output will look like on this composer you now want to have a source probably want to insert this uh, email or this page on your website through HTML source code so you can get the source code from here just copy and paste to your website and if you want to edit normal editing then you can do that here If you need this composer software, you can check the description box below. I've pasted the link there, so you can download it and then play around with it as well and see what you can do and what you can achieve with it. So if you have any problem concerning this tutorial, you can leave your inquiries in the comment box below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well for more useful tips coming up.